Hey guys, welcome for another video. Today we are here at our dream destination, Balaba. Balaba. Ah! We are embarking on an expedition for three nights and four days, and I cannot wait to show you this beautiful set of islands. We're gonna try and make about two to three videos for you guys, but first, let's go back to yesterday, day one. Let's go. So we had to wake up at 2 a.m. in order to catch a van at 3. It took us five hours to reach Buliluyan port. All right, so we've just done the registration and um, we've actually arrived here at Bataraza port. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Um, after a long four or five hour drive, it was so... Bumpy. Bumpy. <laughs> like our driver was like going fast and furious mode. <laughs> <laughs> True. But um, now we're just waiting for a boat and then we're going to head out for our little expedition. I can't wait. I can't I'm can't so wait. excited. And now, it, now we're here, it feels more real. All right, guys. So this is going to be our boat for the next four days when it starts working. <laughs> Ooh, it's bigger than I thought actually. Yeah, the itinerary for today. So we're going to go to three islands, Patawan Island, Kanibungan and then Kandaraman Island and then we're going to stay there overnight. So yeah, it's going to take us about 30 minutes to get to the first island. So let's go. Look how clear the water is. Oh my God. All right, guys, we have made ah. it to our first island, which is Patawan, Patawan island. island. It's in the shape of a dolphin, and so far, it's a very nice little island. Yeah, right? it's such a nice vibe, like, it's so clean, the water's so pristine. Yeah, the water's really blue. Unfortunately, we haven't got the sunniest of days. The sun is trying to come out, but mm. it's a lot of cloud, which although the water I can see is very blue and clear, it doesn't really show up on the camera very well, but it is stunning. There's actually a little resort here, but I think it's like just like a few tents, like glamping. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna grab some lunch now because we haven't eaten since Last, like four o'clock yesterday. Four o'clock yesterday, actually. And it's currently like 12 o'clock, so we're gonna go and eat, and then we're gonna explore this beautiful island called Patawan. All right, so this is where we're gonna be having lunch. They've actually set up like all these really nice tables and chairs yes. with some shade oh. and all these trees. And despite the fact that it's the lunch island, I can't really see much rubbish, which is really, really good. Um, the queers are just getting our seafood ready now. I think we're having crabs and then we're gonna have some lunch and then hopefully, it looks like the sun is coming out. So by the time we finish lunch, hopefully the sun's come out and we can really show you what this island is all about because it's beautiful. But right now, we're struggling for energy because we've been up since 3 a.m., not eating a thing. We're tired and we're hungry, we need some energy. Ready? I'm so hungry, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, the food was nice. We had some seafood, mainly fish, basically, and just grilled fish. But anyway, me and Zoe, we're gonna go for a dip to this amazing view. Let's go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It's <laughs> good, just in case it's a stingray or something. It's a jump. Was it here with a stingray? Apparently, guys, there is actually stingrays here in Malabak and they hide underneath the sand. So we don't really know. And they blend in. They blend in good. But it's right there, mate. My bum watches the ball. The water is so clear, like. Look at that. Oh, uh, if only the sun was out, this water here would be buzzing. Be so blue, it'd be glowing. Guys, it honestly it is just so clear. Like, I don't think the camera does it justice. Wow. Yeah. And the sand is so soft. It's literally no rocks. It's just a little bit windy and a bit cloudy, but. I literally can't explain how soft the sand is yeah, here. It's really soft. I think I prefer this sand 
Dan Brockite. That's, that's saying something. Yeah. Like the sand in Brocca, yeah, it's all white, quite dark and that. But this one here. But it doesn't even leave a footprint. No. It? Oh, it's just so nice. And then the vibe here is just so chill, so quiet. Um, so there is a volleyball court where you can play like beach volleyball. So nice. Nice. The sand looks pink. I don't know if you can see it. It really does look pink. Can you see the lines? Wow. That's so nice. Look at that. It's like a pink beach. But only in this one area. It's really strange. It must it's like be cool. I'm sinking. Like, I'm literally sinking here. Look. It's so pink. God. Wow. So just walking around now. And the sand is changing. But there is a lot of constructions going on, to be honest. For the resort, I think. All right, so it's been super chill here at Patawan. Um, the sand is honestly so, so soft. There's actually pink sand here, and the water is super blue. And this, the weather is getting better, which is awesome. But we're going to head to our next island now, which is called... Kanibungan. That's right. So... I'm excited to see what that one has got in store for us. We just heard, we're literally just leaving and someone else on another boat trip just came and told us they just saw, Levi's. how many turtles? Just one no, or no. several? No, no turtles. Oh, he just, said turtle. Did he? He turtle no, and he Nemo's. Said torpedoes or something. Torpedoes, sure, sure he turtles. said sea turtle. No, torpedoes. Mark, did he say turtle? Yeah, yeah he said turtle. Oh, okay. uh, but, we don't have our snorkels yet. Our snorkels are on a different island. So ah, hopefully we'll see turtles in a different place. Okay, so we're saying goodbye to our first beautiful island. What did you think, Zah? It's amazing. It's so chill. And like, I think in the future, it's going to be like absolutely amazing. And yeah. I think there's going to be more people because you can actually stay here overnight, <laughs> stay in a nice resort. But anyway, we're going to go to the next island now. Kanibungan Island. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the second island. It's called Kanibungan Island. Um, and again, the sand is so soft. There's a really interesting type of tree I've never seen here in the Philippines. It almost looks like a pine tree. It's not pine, I don't think, but it's kind of got a similar vibe to pine yeah. trees. At first, I thought it was pine trees, but it's got like these. It's not. Like, yeah, really long, thin. Mm, but it's quite thick, isn't it? Yeah. But this island, I think it's really cute. And it's got a really calm waves coming in. And it's really blue water. But again, the sun isn't out. It's actually got really windy. It's got a bit very cloudy. Yeah. But oh, nice. you can actually still see how blue the water is. Like, look at that. Still. Like, it's still nice. It's still beautiful. And the water's actually quite, quite... Warm. I like this one because it's different. Mm. Oh. Okay, guys, so this island, I, at first I thought it was a cute little small island. I thought island. it was a small island, like yeah. a small beach. That's how it seems when we first arrived. But when we got the drone up, we soon realised it's actually massive. And Karina actually said it kind of looks like a crocodile, which I kind of do agree with. And it's kind of ironic because Balabac is actually known for crocodiles. Not here on the island hopping, more on the mainland, hopefully. Uh, we haven't <laughs> seen any yet. <laughs> but... Um, 
yeah, it's just very, very nice. A very peaceful island. There's no one else here other than us and the locals. There's a lot of locals here. Um, not sure if they live directly here or whether we saw some more houses when we had the drone up. So I'm not sure if they've just come over here or whether they're staying here. There's a lot of local kids under that really cool looking hanging tree uh, that's kind of slanted. Uh, they're just having fun. And we're currently just walking to the other side, seeing if there's any other cool spots. But really, really nice. We saw some flying fish. And that was like Zoe's reaction seeing a flying fish was just. I've never seen anything funny. like it. I was like, what is that? Oh my god. At first, I thought there was like, I don't know, I thought it was like a fin of a shark, not gonna lie. <laughs> it wasn't, don't worry. But yeah, this is a really nice, nice island. Obviously, sun still isn't fully out. However, the tones of colours I'm seeing in the water. Wow. There's like light blues, turquoise, slightly green, a lot darker blues. Then there's like the rocks, all these different like patches. And although the camera doesn't pick it up, my eyes can see it and the drone can see it. So we'll show you that on the drone, but it really is incredible. And such a nice little island. There's a lot of debris, but it's like natural debris trees and things but either way very very nice little island but very windy mom coconut yes Bob. you Bacana want buko <laughs> fresh very fresh <laughs> only 500 pesos 500 pesos bakit mahal this is balaba <laughs> <laughs> row 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 your boat gently down the stream if you see a crocodile don't forget to scream <laughs> What was that? Ah. Is that what you'd do if you saw a croc? Yeah, it's, like, Go on, it's give, quite wavy. Give us your crocodile scream. Ah! Ah! Crocodile! Ah! Clear water, soft sand, and this amazing hammock in between two coconut trees. What more can you ask for? Wallop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to leave this amazing island now and we're going to head over to the place where we're going to end up camping. I'm not sure if we're camping or not or if it's a hut. But yeah, and then we're going to probably go and see the sunset. So, let's go. Okay guys, so we're currently orange because we've actually got a bonfire going at the moment. Ooh sorted by our um, <clears throat> boat, boat guides. Yeah, so we actually bought some marshmallows and <clears throat> there's actually two other people here on a private tour, uh, a couple, and they're with the same like boatmen people, but a different boat. So we've also asked them if they want to join us. We're gonna get some marshmallows, which is super, super nice. So we didn't actually end up talking to you guys when we got here to the island because we started showering and then it was a most amazing sunset, really beautiful pinks. But then by the time we got changed, it was dark. So we've had dinner and now we're just, just gonna, gonna relax, yeah. So um, after a heavy travel today, cause we yeah. went about 3 a.m., no sleep, just full on island hopping. And, yeah, and the islands were amazing. Yeah. Even though it was cloudy, it was still beautiful. And I can see that if it was sunny, how amazing it would really really mm. look um the beach we're currently at is quite like um there's a lot of like on them is a massive beach and where we are there's quite a lot of leaves and things but then when you go a little bit further closer to the water really pristine and in the morning there's going to be a sandbar yeah, sandbar with covered with starfish so so excited Loads to show you guys starfish. that in the morning so so excited but we're going to be staying in a tent tonight um we've currently got a generator on so we can charge everything and that's apparently we can use that until 6 a.m. I yeah, think. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. So that's good. But yeah, we're gonna watch the stars and toast some marshmallows. Mm. We'll update you how we slept tomorrow morning and we'll show you the sandbar. So wait See you for us then. Morning guys. Morning. How did you sleep? Oh my god, like not gonna lie. I didn't mind it. I didn't have any pillow. Yeah. Um, I gave the our pillow to Zoe because I'm a gentleman. Oh, thank like, you. Uh, Zar kept scaring me though because he hit the tent because of the dogs and I kept thinking something was attacking the tent. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've woken up. We woke up about six. We've had some breakfast. We had some eggs. 
and spam and now the weather is coming out and it's looking nice which is great because the weather forecast has been terrible and it says today's going to be terrible too but so far we've got some blue skies which is incredible because we're going to hopefully what is going to be the highlight of our trip looking at the pictures i'm so excited to go to this next island so watch out for that in our next video but right now on this island which is beautiful by the way we're going to show you around as well as going to the sandbar over there where there is supposedly hundreds of starfish i think the sandbar is shallow but not fully out so i think we might have to snorkel to see the starfish but i'm just so excited so i'm gonna get my swimming costume on and we're gonna go and swim the water is looking really blue because the sun is finally out and i'm really excited we were starting to feel a little bit disappointed yesterday because this is our dream destination and um a couple of days ago we saw that the weather was going to be really really bad and we spoke to the guides we were like you know the weather's not looking bad do you think we should move it to a different date they were like no 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 it'll be fine the weather will be fine and then we got here yesterday and it wasn't fine it was so cloudy and then even though it wasn't raining it just wasn't the experience that we were hoping for because it was still amazing don't get me wrong and the islands were beautiful but we we're just when you then look at the forecast and you see it's going to be the same tomorrow and the same the next day we we're starting to think oh no like our whole trip it's just going to be cloudy and we won't get to see the amazing colors of blue that balabak has to offer but luckily so far it looks like we may have some success today so i'm feeling super grateful that we did still decide to come and hopefully it stays like this so fingers crossed cross your fingers guys sand here, I don't know why, Balabak's just got this powdery sand vibes. Look at that, look how soft and white that is. Yeah guys, it's look really like fine. It's a shame there is like loads of um, washed away rubbish here. Yeah, and quite a lot of dead coral is on yeah. here as well. But I think it's because I think the wave has been quite strong lately. So I think that's why. Maybe seasonal too, because there's a lot of leaves. Yeah. And that's all to do with like certain times of the year, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. All right, guys, so we're going to start snorkeling now to see the starfish, because apparently there is quite a lot. So let's go and see them. So we'll probably see at the GoPro. All right, let's go and find some starfish. Ah, uh, it's not deep, but... It's not deep. It's not deep. God. This is Balabat guys, look at this water. So water. clear. It's Holy the sun out. Crystal, crystal clear. We've got starfish, we've got islands behind us, and we've got crabs. <laughs> and flag, yes. Wow. Honestly, yes. this is amazing. Beautiful. It's what? It's beautiful. It's, I know. It's so bright, like, bright like my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first guys. Wow! All right, guys, so we have arrived on the next island. However, we won't be putting it on this vlog, it's going to be on the next vlog, so make sure to put your notification bell on. And wait for it, because this is honestly the, so far, favourite island I've ever been to in the Philippines, and the most beautiful island I've ever been to That's big. in the Philippines. That is big, that. So you really need to tune into the next video, because this has made my day, made my week, made my life, made my trip. Mm. Everything is <laughs> honestly, it's just incredible. The first day, it's been beautiful. The island yeah. itself is absolutely Stunning. amazing. Mm. Oh. And I'm glad that the sun is finally coming out. It is still a bit windy, still a bit cloudy, but Balabak 
Oh, you it's a must. To. You need to yeah. do it. But anyway, we're going to end the vlog here. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, press that notification bell on so that you won't miss out on the day two of our Balabak trip on this amazing island. It's going to be the best one, I'm telling you. Peace. Bye.